Hello everybody, we are at the terminal. This is the ocean jet terminal that takes us to Bacalod. We have never been to Bacalod. We're excited. Occidental or Negros of Occidental, I believe it is, uh, mm -hmm. which is the province and uh, something what's that which means east or something and i still don't understand why depends where you look on the map though on the city anyway so with the fee to get here uh on the ferry open air or tourist class is going to be 550 pesos per person or like 11 bucks um if you want to go business class and it's 800 per person but it's only a one hour ferry so we're like nah, nah open air let's have some fun let's enjoy look at the breeze outside today it's very breezy, so good day to be outdoors. Terminal was actually really quick. Everything is cash, no ATMs at work, at least today. Um, so we were lucked out. We literally were down to the last peso in cash because we were like, oh, there'll be an ATM. We'll Why be using debit something. Why would we prepare? Yeah, yeah. Well, because we planned this last night. Yeah. We actually had a different plan to go somewhere today. And uh, late last night, we found out that plan couldn't happen. And so we just literally threw this together and said, let's go to Bacola. And here we are at the terminal the very next morning. So off we go. Let's check out how fancy or economical or whatever this ferry ends up being. Here we go. There it is. All right, it's about the same size as the one in Bohol, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We took yeah. a very similar one. Very, very similar. Basically the exact one. Okay, very much the same. I think we go to the back door, I don't know. Because we're in the open air. It's at the back. Yeah, so we go to the back, I think. How's it going, guys? request those seats up at the front there but we weren't here early enough uh, where they you can have a little bit more room but uh, we are over here only unfortunate thing is they have windows here at the lower level not as much of a breeze I like the open open ones but I guess it helps if, when there's splashing of water yes yeah, yeah. That's what your 800 pesos would get you. Last time though, last time though, we took the business class and there was no AC or it just was not keeping up because it was like mid afternoon and the yeah. sun was just beating. I was dying. I was dying. Okay. So I was rough. It was, it was like, oh, we were like in a microwave up there. So I have a little bit of a issue with business with, class. With spending that much money for to die. a hot box. Yeah. And there was no like window cover. So there was no shade. You yeah. have to like turtle yourself. Yeah, that's right. All right, so while we're here, let's just look at the port here. So you've got right over there, you've got the old customs building. you got Freedom Grandstand over there. Uh, City Hall, you can see the tower over there. There's all the bridges are further down. You get a lot of the ships here. That's okay. And then if you're going to Garamas, you go on the other side here and you go all the way down and around this corner and to Garamas Island, the other port is over there. So yeah, it's beautiful here. This is the beautiful thing about living in a city that has all the rivers. You know, everything that you can get to by boat is really, really easy. How are you? I'll be in your luck. Yeah? Say hello then. Hello. Hey, hey. awesome. Hey, man. Alright, time to get comfortable. Looks like not many people think open air, but we'll see. It might get 
get full.